Hey friends, it is Monday. We are doing our spending recap, but I also get to stuff some G bucks, my $5 and my letter books into my savings challenge book. I am super excited because ever since I've switched this over, I get so happy when I get dollar bills because I know I get to put it towards this. <laughs> So let's go over spending and then we'll stuff some money. Also, if you haven't, I threw up a bonus video yesterday, Sunday, and I am doing a review of my travel planner through Clever Fox and then also a bi-weekly budget planner. So if you did not check out that video, please do. There is a giveaway in there and I would just love for you guys to uh, enter and hopefully you'll win. So... <laughs> Uh, let's go into expense tracking. So this is for the week of March 31st through April 6th. So pizza. <laughs> uh, I went to, so the 31st was a um, gathering with my family, but that night I was so exhausted. It was my niece's birthday and we didn't feel like cooking, so we ordered pizza, and that was $53. On the first, uh, Experian came out, so I do have a credit monitoring, just a low level of service through them. That is $5 a month. It allows me to lock and unlock my credit. Um, I know there are some free options out there. I'm used to this one, so I just kind of stick with it. Chick-fil-A food, $23. This was a breakfast pickup. I don't know why we're getting in the habit of wanting Chick-fil-A breakfast on my chiropractor days, but here we are again. The <laughs> another week of another breakfast. I mean, I don't hate it. <laughs> okay, this is, we had so many just appointments this week. So I have been meaning to get my serpentine belt replaced in my car. I knew that it was cracked before we left for our winter trip travel. But I didn't, because my car was going to be parked, I didn't want to mess with it until we got back. So I finally got that done because I was tired of my car screeching and screaming and squealing for like the first three minutes and everyone in my neighborhood looking at me. <laughs> it stops after about three minutes, but it was just obnoxious. So $284 later, that is replaced. My car no longer makes noises. It's very nice. Uh, we decided to go out to dinner and a movie. So my husband wanted to see Dune 2. He loves Dune, the book, uh, the first one. He said that gets kind of weird if you read the series. Uh, as the books progress, he said it gets a little weird, but he loves the original. has read the book many times. We saw the first one, so we went and saw the second one. But we decided to get food beforehand. And so we get, went to a Mexican place, and that was $17.00. Was that that day? Did I not put that food on there? <laughs> okay, I'm confused because it was on the second that we went, but I didn't write that food down. Okay, I think I'm shorted, whatever. Maybe he paid for it, that's why. Anyways, it was $17 on that day for Mexican, so that was a different day. This was... <laughs> Oh, this day I met up with my friend for lunch and we sat there for about two hours and just chit chatted, had a great time. That was this day. Okay. I'm back on track now. I just, I wrote these dates all wrong because I scribbled on a piece of paper. <laughs> hi V had to get groceries. That was $82. Movie theater. Oh wow. We're back to the movie theater. <laughs> So that one was considered fun money. That was $20. We did buy the tickets online ahead of time. If you go on a Tuesday, it's cheaper. So it's like $5.50 a person. And then there's always an online transaction fee. And then we bought a pop over there because we got dinner beforehand. We didn't get snacks, which is really weird for me to not buy popcorn and milk duds. That is my go-to in a movie theater. I always buy a box of milk duds and a large popcorn and then a pop. <laughs> But I was so full from dinner that I I didn't even need food. Uh, Culver's, that was $25. Target, had to get just a few grocery things. That was $32. Uh, house supplies, so while I was there, I also needed to restock on um, my puffs. So I am 
not a Kleenex girl. I'm a Puffs girl. That was $13. Personal care, I needed deodorant. That was $13 as well. I used native deodorant. Uh, pizza, we did, that was $23. And cheers. So that was fun money. That was $60. This is a big shopping day. <laughs> I mean, it also was a Friday going into the weekend. Uh, the dealership. So we brought, I said, spendiness for our cars. We brought my husband's vehicle to the dealership. He needed an oil change and tire rotation after our um, long drive for our winter travel. And so we finally got that done $138 later. Oh, so expensive. Internet came out. That's utilities, $106. Auto insurance, $150. And that's it. But really, there should be another $100 for food because of that dinner before the movie. <laughs> so here's the thing. I paid cash for that dinner and I forgot to track it. So I was really, I had a really, really rough week last week with work. It was just very stressful and busy. And I feel like I was losing my mind towards the end of the week. And I just, I didn't track like I normally do. And so my dates are all over the place. You know, we're just working with what we got. <laughs> all right. So totals. Food is $255, but really it should be another $100, so $355. Should we just add another $100 on there? Plus $100. Oops. <laughs> uh, fun money was $80. Personal care, $13. House supplies, $13. Transportation, $422. So obviously this is more than we normally would do. But we had those two big service things that needed to get done. Utilities, 106. Insurance, 150. Subscriptions, 5. Giving us a total of $1,044. But really, plus 100. So it's $1,144. <laughs> so a little bit more spendy, but it's honestly mostly because of this transportation. Food, we really didn't do too bad. And fun money, we have been doing outstanding with fun money. <laughs> I'm very proud of us. Okay, let's stuff our letterbox, $5, G-Bucks, and then whatever's left over is going to save 2024. Okay, so what I do is anytime I go to the grocery store, I save anything that comes back in the form of a dollar or a $5 bill. So $5 bills, these are going towards date night. And $1 bills are going towards my save 2024, uh, except for G-Bucks. So we still are saving G-Bucks to go towards new pups. Uh, this one is definitely going a lot slower this year, but I am now like picking up more with dollar bills. Now that we're back home and I'm using cash more for groceries, these are starting to add up a lot quicker now. So I'm really excited to see how much movement we can get now that I'm back to using cash again. <laughs> so I add the two G bucks into our envelope here. And it looks like we should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Nine towards our next $25 bundle. And this just is a slow and go, but it every little bit adds up. And it's amazing to see how many G bucks that I end up with by the end of the year. <laughs> Okay, next up we're going to do is $5 bills, $5 foot long, which are no longer $5. Uh, so here we have four $5 bills that came back. So I am just using little um, $5 savings challenges to save up towards date night. So anytime I get a $5 bill, this is going to go towards anniversary slash date night. I did that mega one where I saved $350 doing the cheers and tacos. And it was so cool to see it add up. And I just think it'll be fun to have all these little mini wins now. So anytime I have a savings challenge that's just $5, I use it for this. This one is from Wendy Casper. She's a Minnesota girl. <laughs> so we have four of them. All right. So we just added $20 to the mix. So we should have 45, I believe. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And this is a $100 challenge. So cute. <laughs> oh, I just love it. <laughs> $5, just, it's my date night money. Okay, now 
for the grand finale. <laughs> I have this book that I am doing for part of my Save 2024 in 2024 challenge. I have two different ones going. I decided that anytime I get a letter back, like a $1 bill back that isn't a G buck, it's going to go towards this because I can use all the help I can get. How much was I able to collect? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. <laughs> so these are numbers between two and twelve. I feel like I could probably do one off of here. I'm trying to get like this first page done. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's taking 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have $1 left, which means we are not scratching again. This is a one and done scratch. And we are going to find a page that just uses a $1 bill. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we found one. So we'll color in this puzzle piece. Ta-da! And now we are $11 closer to our goal of the $2,024. So let's stuff this money. I'm actually really excited because I didn't have to use an IOU. <laughs> so this is my savings challenge book. You guys are familiar with saving, seeing this. So this is the other 2024 challenge that I'm doing. Um, this one has its own envelope and it has its own little dashboard. So cute. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is from The Humble Budgeter. This is Carmen. I absolutely love this thing. All right, so $11 is going in. What do we have so far? 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 66, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have $85 already going towards this challenge. Do we have a ways to go? Absolutely. But that $11 helps tremendously. <laughs> it really does add up. And oh, I'm just so excited to start doing this for my dollar bills. All right, guys, this is a very short and sweet video. Um, I honestly want you to go and check out my Clever Fox video where I do my travel planner one, if you haven't already. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Short and sweet, but have a good one. Bye!